So the other day I set up a Wi-Fi system for a client of mine and it took me forever to find a decent video on basic setup of an access point. So today I just want to run through the basics quick and easy of how to set up a Ubiquiti uh, access point, either a nano station or a uh, Pico station. Right here I got my equipment off uh, Amazon, 48 bucks for a nano station. Go on a Pico station, they're $72. So, first thing you want to know is when you log in, typical default address is 192.168.1.20. Default username is UBNT, default password is UBNT. First time you set this up, it'll ask a few extra questions and it will make you uh, sign a user agreement. Once you've got that set up, you can start setting up your um, nano station or Pico station. My system's already been done, so I'll just run through the settings. I've already logged in here. Here's your main tab. Yeah, of course, it's up and running, so you see activity on the uh, wireless LAN and the LAN. First thing you want to do is go to that tab right there. Always disable AirMax. AirMax is proprietary and it's used for communication between two ubiquity radios. If you're using it for any other device, make sure AirMax is disabled. Go to your wireless tab. In your wireless tab, what you will want to do is you will want it set up to an access point. Do not enable WDS. Set your SSID to whatever you want your network named as. Country, whatever country you're in, um, BGN. You'll want 20 megahertz on your channel because most devices read on 20 megahertz. A lot of newer devices can do 40, but not older devices. So for universal compatibility, I recommend 20 megahertz. Uh, frequency, you can change that to set or you can change it to auto. doesn't much matter. You can list in megahertz if you want. None of the other settings you really need to change. Output power possibly if you're going to be close to a Pico station. I have noticed you will want to reduce output power because otherwise you get uh, way too high um, frequencies on your radio and you basically flood out your devices and you can't connect to your Wi-Fi. As far as security, here we have none. We'll do WPA AES put in whatever key you want. I'll just type something in here and then uh, you will not want Mac access control. Disable that. That will only allow certain Mac addresses to access your station and if you're doing an access point you most likely want whoever has a password to access your station unhindered. Hit change up here we'll get a blue bar that says do you want to test apply or discard we'll save our changes till later so go back here it seems like when we disabled air max we did not change those settings so we'll hit change make sure that updates after that go to your network um, you can continue to use your default IP or in my case I switched mine to 0.1.6 so you'll want bridge mode, disable network none, configuration mode, simple is easy. You can do DHCP or static. As you can see here for my static IP, I changed it to 0.1.6. Here are my other settings. Standing tree protocol. Nothing else special here. Hit change. There's a few settings in advanced and a few in services. Um, Honestly, I've never really messed around with these. You can change your LED threshold, so on and so forth. You can mess around if you want. If it doesn't work, always discard. Or um, That's why I recommend using the test setting if you're experimenting. Last thing you'll want to do is go into system. Change your username from UBNT. Here you can see I've already changed mine to admin and then set up a new password. Put in the UBNT for your current password, then your new password, new password. Hit change. Once you've done the wireless, the ubiquity, and the systems tab, you've changed them all. Hit apply and you will be done setting up your station. Now once you're done with this process, it's always a good idea to update the firmware. I personally update my firmware 
first thing and then go through these other settings, but your preference. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much. Have a good day.